The level was made in Unreal Engine 5 and took 4 days from start to finish. This includes developing a concept, designing the space, blocking it out, and scripting functionality. It was made using the Blockout Tools plugin and Advanced Locomotion System. Link in the description for both assets. Now, let's jump into the level. The mission brief serves as a narrative backdrop and would be expanded upon further development. Lighting a beacon appears to be the goal. The player's guide is for those who wish to play this level themselves. The first section is a safe space that teaches players to climb, jump and sprint without risk. Falling is now fatal, setting up the stakes. One misstep along the narrow ledge could mean falling into the chasm. Climbing here feels riskier than before, despite being the same action. This gap is shorter than the previous one, but it feels more daunting due to the greater risk. You can't press up against a wall along this tightrope. Players then learn to crouch, and doing so leads them out of the chasm for good. Bushes on the other side reveal how hidden they are when crouching in them. Ascending further reveals a grand vista and the player's goal. This is the beacon, backlit by a setting sun. It's less claustrophobic in this open space. Tension quickly rises as the bridge collapses and the player hears someone behind him whisper, What was that? This guard was hidden behind the cliff, only visible now from below the bridge. Thankfully, the grass gives plenty of space to move in, allowing the player to escape through the gap ahead. Sneaking through the grass gives the player a safe opportunity to take the guard down, should they wish to do so. This composition has several points of interest and serves as a preparation for the coming challenge. The player may see the upper walkway in line with the cliff, the similarly tall tower in the distance, the open window with light coming through, the lower walkway, and lastly, the broken fence by the bridge. The bridge can't be crossed as signified by the two guards. Sneaking down past the broken fence lets the player hear a dialogue between the guards. It seems the protagonist is known in this area. The wall to the right blocks the player from being seen but allows them to see the moving torchlight on the other side. The sound of fire also helps. The patrol paths of the guards are synced to ensure that the player doesn't have to wait too long to have an opportunity to sneak past. Boxes and crates are conveniently placed to provide a hiding spot. The well forces the player to leave safety to reach the bushes. It is now possible to see a hidden path behind the waterfall. The player has no choice but to continue onward upon seeing the locked door. The waterfall and trees obscure the player from the guard, allowing them to safely crouch into the grass. There is no way past, so the light from below the pagoda draws the player's attention instead. The source is an open hatch. Another locked door, but the next room can be glimpsed from the gap above. The player is given time to think of what to do next to avoid the guard's gaze and get familiar with the space. There's a patrolling guard outside. It seems they never look behind the foldable dividers. The guard's vision is then blocked by the railing. There's a shortcut down from here, best remember that. This should be where the guard is. Ah, there he is. The walkway seems to go all the way around the building.
The shape of this hiding spot allows the guard to move past without noticing the player. The windows allow peeks inside past rooms as well as unexplored ones. There's a hanging key and stairs leading up in this room. It seems one must reach the upper floor and get down from the inside. A torch draws the player's gaze to the climbable boxes. The player has finally reached the window from before. Boxes inside give the player some time to gauge the safety of the room before proceeding. This window takes the player back to an earlier room, giving context to the current location. It also provides a shortcut outside. Let's return later. The player can now see the window they looked in through before. And that's the key! This guard's patrol path is shorter than the others, making it trickier to steal. Grabbing the key unlocks the door, leaving the player with two choices when escaping. Go through the doors that are now open, or go back upstairs across the beam. The latter seems safer, so that's what I'll do. The shortcut is conveniently close to the tower. The elevator takes the player up the tower. The beacon is finally visible again, and close too. The previous section was tense, so this puzzle aims to relieve the player of that stress. It also provides a platforming challenge. Falling isn't too punishing either, as the grass below hides the player from any guards. This vantage point shows the player how far they have come, only a bit left to go. The guard is stationary, their only purpose is to finally the player down the other path. The beacon is now in plain view, with the bridge behind them. Despite the short distance across, the bridge breaking definitely made for a long path around. Might as well hurry over. The level ends atop the beacon. It also provides a view of all that came before. Setting up a sprawling landscape of mountaintops and dales would add even more to the feeling of accomplishment. I hope you find this breakdown interesting. My goal is to make more of these in the future, primarily for levels I've worked on, but perhaps also for games I've played. So feel free to stick around I suppose. Cheers!